Take two. Hello, it's yeah, Saturday. Brother. It's a micro lock extensions day for me. Um, I had, yeah, you gotta put on pants, a shirt, and a hoodie. It's chilly outside. Okay, wait. I had. Should I put on like a jacket, like um, a shirt and a hoodie? Those were my instructions. He's about to show me something. Put this under my shirt. A shirt and a hoodie are the instructions. Okay? Okay. Anyway, um, so I just did a two strand twist on my neighbor's son that I wasn't supposed to do that this morning, um, but I had an open morning, so I said, why not? I'll do that. So now my extension appointment is on her way. She'll be here at one. I'm going to try to go to about 8, 8.30 p.m. tonight with her hair in hopes of finishing all the sections in the back of the head and then really having her come back tomorrow to do the front. We'll see how it goes, you know, but I have my Afro texture extension hair. Um, I actually got this from, what's it called? I'll put it on the screen. But I brought hair from someone else, somewhere else, the first extensions I did. And though I liked it, I think I like this a little bit better, the way they separate this. So we'll see how that does today. Soraya is here with me, of course. Where are your socks? She doesn't care about that. And yeah, I'm just waiting for her to get here. I'm all set up. I just cleaned up after that client. So now I'm about to drink some water. I'm really thirsty. And then, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. From the here on out, I'll be working. See you. Hey guys. So I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of how I like to do my micro lock extensions. Um, I also use this base for my micro locks. Sarai is here, so you will hear her. Okay, so when doing your grid, um, I like to part my back pieces first, then my front pieces, and then my middle section of the head. So um, you really want to use your grid as a guiding point. Um, throughout the process, I end up moving some of the lines, making the sections smaller, adding hair to them. So it's really just a guideline to be able to gauge where I am on the head, what size the micro lock should be in this part of the head and it looks really neat. So you're just gonna see me do that and then I'll be starting the first row. few things to note when starting the very first row of course that's where the hair is the most finest so you just want to be mindful of that that's probably the row you're gonna have to do over depending on the hair texture more than once so um, i like to size these micro but not super small just to make the um process of them locking a little bit easier um when you do them super super small they slip right out like it's not even no it's not even <laughs> it's not even a waiting period really so I'm just going to add a little bit of hair to her back row and then I'm going to keep working my way up. I like to do the back two sections first and then I work around the middle sections and then I finish off in the front. Here's a closer view of what I'm doing. So I'm just separating the um, micro locks individually and putting a little gel in between them just to keep them separated to make the process a little bit easier. Um, the things about the thing about uh, Afro texture kinky hair extensions, you know, after they are elongated for a little bit, they start to ball up. So um, I find that wetting them before I put them on the hair or in the hair makes it easier for me to stretch them out and add them in. So um, throughout this video, 
I'll wet them a little bit with my mister bottle and then be able to separate some and add them to her hair, especially in the front, because by this time, we've used a lot of the already stretched out pieces. So you just wanna be mindful when using um, Afro Kinky te Texture Hair. Um, it's gonna get a little, you know, all over the place, so that's really why it takes so long. This install took a total of about 13 and a half hours, spread over two days. We did about 11 hours the first day and maybe two and a half hours or three and a half hours, something like that, the next day. So it wasn't too bad. The first day we started a little bit in the afternoon, so I might have finished the first day if I would have started earlier, but I'm having to do that because my kids have extracurricular activities. However, comma. Um, it wasn't that bad when we were done. We were happy and she liked it. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. If you have any questions, leave them below. I will answer everyone. And if you want to book with me, head over to Braves by Shardale um, on Instagram. And also my booking link will be in the description bar or box, whatever it's called. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.